WWE has revealed both the men's and women's Survivor Series teams. Sunday, November 21st is WWE Survivor Series, and here are the Survivor Series men's and women's teams. On Saturday afternoon, WWE announced that they would be revealing the Survivor Series teams for Raw and SmackDown, both the men and women on their social media accounts. Starting with the men's team, the first announcement was that Seth Rollins would be on the Raw men's team. He was not named the captain, just the first member of the roster. He was followed by Finn Balor as the second man to join. Kevin Owens was the third. Rey Mysterio was the fourth. And his son Dominic makes up the final team member. As for the men's SmackDown Survivor Series team, Drew McIntyre was the first to be named, followed by Jeff Hardy, King Woods, and Sami Zayn were the third and fourth members with Happy Corbin being the final member. Madcap Moss was pictured alongside Corbin, suggesting he will be in attendance. Now on to the women. The Raw team was named first, with Bianca Belair being named the first female competitor in the match. She was followed by one half of the women's tag team champions in Rhea Ripley. The third woman named on the Red Brands team was Liv Morgan, and the fourth and fifth members were Carmella and Queen Zelina was the obvious final choice. Interesting to see that Nikki Ash was not named to the Raw women's team, but her partner was. For the SmackDown women's team, the first was Sasha Banks, followed by Shayna Baszler. Then, the newest heel on the SmackDown roster, Shotzi, was named the third. Natalia was named the fourth. And rounding out the team is Aaliyah. Considering the names left off the team, Aaliyah is a bit of a surprise pick here. She's not wrestled a match on SmackDown post the WWE draft, and names like Tony Storm and Naomi were left off the team. What are your thoughts on the Survivor Series teams? Go ahead and let us know in the comments section below. As always, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, and head on over to thesportster.com for all of the latest in pro wrestling news.